What's up, friends? I am back with another haul. This is actually part two. If you're more into lifestyle pieces, part one was American Eagle, Airy, and Garage Clothing. Part two is more athletic wear and athleisure wear, mainly Lululemon and Buff Bunny, maybe a couple other pieces too. So check out part one or just watch part two, whatever you want to do. But uh, let's get into this. So let's start with Lululemon. Like I mentioned in the last video, like this is like Christmas gifts, stuff that I got in the fall. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even think, I don't think I've shopped at Lululemon yet in 2024, but a lot of these pieces they still have. So everything will be linked in the description box if it's still available. So yeah, Lululemon, uh, let's do this. First off, uh, we got some pants, I think. We only have one pair of pants from Lululemon. These are the brushed soft stream zipped flared legging. So they are a nice ribbed fabric. They're very soft. If you haven't felt the soft stream line, very, very soft. These are flared and then they do have a zip if you wanna like make them even more flared. Now I'm short and so these will always have to stay zipped for me because even with my like chunky sneakers, these are borderline dragging, but because of the zipper, you, you can't hem them. But I loved the pants enough that I didn't mind. Now these do have a front seam. I prefer my leggings without them, but still I tried these on and I still loved them enough to not care so much about the front seam. And then they've got a really thick elastic waistband. It's sort of weird if this makes sense. It's not uh, like fully stitched all the way around. So part of it can kind of like flip up. I don't entirely know what the reasoning is behind that. There is like a big pocket in the back if you know you want to keys or credit card in there. But these are just like a really nice lifestyle piece. I wouldn't work out in these, but they just look really cute. If you're out about town running errands and I got these in a size six. My sizing is a little bit all over the place for Lululemon. Um, six is mostly what I wear, but in joggers I can go down to a four, four if I want to be more form fitted. In leggings, depending on the size, I can even go up to an eight, but six is pretty standard for me. I can usually make a six work, but yeah, these are super cute. Uh, moving on to a piece of outerwear. This is the Wonder Puff cropped vest. I've been wanting a puffer vest for quite a while. I used to have one back in the day, wore it a ton, and I was in Lulu before Christmas and I saw all the puffer vests and, destroyed, and decided to try one on and absolutely fell in love. It's like slightly cropped. I, I don't necessarily know that I'd call it like super cropped. It's still like well below the jean line, um, but it's just super puffy and super cozy. And because our, this winter has been really weird and we've had some super mild days, like I wore this today. Um, and it's like the beginning of February, just walking Conan and I was cozy and warm. And it's nice, you can remove the hood if you don't want it. And it's got some nice deep pockets. It's got a zip pocket in the side too, if you want to keep something more protected. And I just, I love this green color. It's a medium forest green. And because I felt like these are pretty oversized and since I'm a little bit more petite, I didn't want to look like it was just eating me alive. So this is a size two, and I think it fits me great. Next up, we have the brushed soft stream cropped half zip. And this borderline looks like it's the same color as the vest, but this is in the color storm teal. I got this in a size four. It's just got like the nice half zip 
and you can cinch in the waist if you want to. Where is it? Yeah, so it's just got this like little tie if you want to cinch it in or just leave it open. And I like, because a lot of the soft stream sweaters or pants, they're a mix of like a nice brushed fabric. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's also like some sections are ribbed. And so I just like the contrast of the two different types of fabric. And I've been wearing this one actually to work quite a bit because even though it's cropped with some high-waisted pants, um, my midriff doesn't show. And it's just like, it's a nice sweater, so you're kind of cozy, but it does, it does look a little bit, it's a little bit more dressed up. I mean, it's still casual, but casual and nice. No thumb holes on this one. It's just got like cuffed sleeves, but that's fine. I don't always need thumb holes in, in my sweaters, but really nice, been wearing this a ton and love the color. Uh, next, we have a member of the scuba cropped hoodies, and this is in a deep brown, and this is actually in their velvet cord material, and so it's, it's thick and cozy. It looks like slightly more dressed up than your regular scuba cropped hoodies. And a lot of their scuba cropped hoodies have like the quarter zip, but this one is doesn't have the zip at all. It's just a bit of a higher neck. It does have the thumb holes. So this one I, I've been wearing to work as well. And it's just like super cozy. This is in their extra small small, which is standard sizing for me for their scuba cropped hoodies and I love it. It's so cute. Last shirt from Lululemon is the whole tight long sleeve sweater. It's in the color bone and this is just like a super soft stretchy long sleeve top. It's quite long and I have the hold tight shirt in short sleeve version. I took it to Africa with me. It's so comfy and I also like to wear them under my overalls. And so for the winter months, I was on the hunt for one long sleeve that I can wear and I love it. It is so comfy and they're really, really stretchy. I get these in a size eight Lululemon. I tend to size a little larger for their form fitted tops because even though this is still a tight, tighter fit, I don't, want it super super tight so it fits perfectly you do have to be careful with the lighter colors because depending on what bra you're wearing underneath they can be a little bit sheer but i tend to just so far been wearing this with overalls over top so mostly been covered in the sheerness doesn't really matter at work i have to be careful i don't want to be too sheer but with the overalls it's fine you can even almost see like the hanger rod through this because of the lighter colors. The darker colors, you don't get that at all. But I have a black pair of overalls, which you'll see, so I really wanted a lighter colored long sleeve shirt to go under those. So yeah, love these. Last item from Lululemon is an accessory. It's one of their little belt bags, and this is a Sherpa one. I have, this is my second Sherpa one now. I have one that's in a bone color, and I wanted a darker one because the bone one, you know, it's easier to get dirty, shows the dirt a little bit more. It's just got the Sherpa on the front. I love the gold detailing on the zipper and then on the buckle. And then on the back, we've got a nice little pouch here. And then on the inside, we've got a couple different pouches here. I love Lulu belt bags. I think this is my third one now. They're great for when I'm walking the dog. They're great for festivals. Just you're going out and you don't want to take a big purse or backpack, but you want to be able to carry a few essentials. These are so cute. Wear it around your waist. Sometimes I'll like wear it across. They're so great. Love that these have also come back because these were like a big thing uh, in the 90s when I was younger. And yeah, I just love the Sherpa for winter. It's so nice and cozy. All right, now moving on to Buff Bunny. We've got one sports bra. So this is the Lux bralette. It is in their Lux fabric, which they came out with a Lux cropped crew neck quite a while ago. 
and it came in one color and I got it and it's so soft. I believe it came out in the Inner Light collection, maybe? And it is just, I'm touching the sweater because this is the same Lux fabric and it's, it's buttery soft, but not like their Nubre. It's almost like slicker, I want to say, but I got this in a size medium. It's black. It's just, I like the thick band and then it's just racer backed and I got it in black and then I also got it in the cocoa color and I don't work out in these. I mean, I think I've done yoga in them, but they're just more for lounging and they're so comfortable and not going to wear on like a casual day. I've, I, I wear these to work. They're just so comfortable and I am obsessed with them. Have been wearing them a ton. To go along with that in the same Lux fabric, we have the Lux Bolero in black. It's got a big hood. They came out with the cloud boleros quite a while ago. And so these are very similar in like the shape, but I want to say they come down longer, a little bit more loose fitting and then in the Lux fabric, but these have a hood, whereas the cloud boleros didn't. And I got this in a size medium and it's just great for warming up or just, you know, you want to keep your, your arms warm. And I just, I can't express how uh, soft this is. It's just, it's so nice. And so, so cute. Also in the Lux fabric, we have the Lux long sleeve crop. This is in the color Coco. I actually got this in an extra large and that is because the waist has this elastic to cinch it. And if you get it smaller, then you lose length. And so it's like up quite a lot higher, a lot more cropped. And I just wanted something a little longer, a little baggier, and I'm obsessed. I love this so much with higher waisted pants. Not much stomach is showing like in these. Like if I lift up my arms, you're going to see stomach. Uh, but other than that, like everything is covered and I love this color. It is so beautiful. No thumb holes. I, I feel like these are like a little bit more of a dressier version because there is a very similar version in the cloud fabric, which you will see soon. Um, but this just, I don't know. It's Lux. It's the fabric. It's very, very nice. Well, we talked about it, so we might as well show it. So this is the cloud cropped crew and this is in the color almost gray. I love this color. Again, I got it in a size large for the same reasoning. I wanted more length. I also have this in a navy color too. I'm not sure if it was called navy, but I love these. They're so cozy. The cloud fabric is like no other. It is super stretchy, brushed and soft, and the inside is super fleecy. It's so nice. And these are a little more form fitted. I mean, it's still baggy and because I got a large, it's baggier. Um, but these are a bigger fit, the luxe ones, but I'm still happy that I went with the large. I know when I was watching reviews where people sized up on the cloud, they did it in the luxe and I was borderline worried <laughs> when I placed my order. Cause I actually placed my order knowing what I did about the cloud crop before I watched reviews. And then I watched some reviews before I'd received my order and I thought, oh shoot, did I make the wrong choice? But I didn't. I'm really happy with the fit of this. But these are very cute too. They look very cute with the paired with the cloud joggers, but they also just look cute with some leggings or with some jeans. So you can like totally like lifestyle this, the cloud cropped crew neck. And they're so, so, so stretchy, but these ones, especially these have a lot more length than these do. So that's why I definitely glad I sized up in the cloud version because on some of the athletes that just stuck to the regular size, it was like just below 
their sports bra. So a lot of midriff was showing, which is just not the vibe I wanted for a lifestyle piece, but looked amazing on all of the athletes. But yeah, obsessed with this and wish I'd grabbed the joggers in this color, but they sold out. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I hope they come out with more cloud pieces in this in the future. Now we're moving on to leggings. I got a pair of Material Girl leggings in just onyx black. Material Girl leggings have been around for a long time. They've also gone through some different sizing changes. I have these in quite a few different colors, but I just wanted a pair of black Material Girl leggings because I love the ribbed material and I just wanted them for lifestyle. So you can see they're ribbed and I work out in my other material girl leggings but these just look so cute lifestyle and I've got tons of black leggings that I work out in so these strictly not working out in. I will say like they do pill. I've got this one section here that's like really pilled and I don't know why it's just on the one leg. I'm not entirely sure what I did to that upper thigh to get all of that uh, pilling there. But regardless, I love these. And typically with my leggings, I have like some sort of oversized shirt on over top anyway. So like the higher up pilling isn't a big deal because it's quite often covered, but these just look so cute with like a jacket, some socks out on the town. I mean, not out clubbing, but so cute. Then we got some flare pants. So these are the Material Girl flare pant. So same ribbing, also onyx black, but we got the flare. And they come in different lengths. So this is in the short length and it, I don't know, borderline, I feel like maybe I could have gone regular, but they're still, still great. Wear them with like chunky sneakers and they look so cute and I'm just so happy. I mean, when I first started wearing like Lululemon pants, all they sold were like the flared and I wish I still had them. So cute, like wear these a ton for just running errands and out and about. So here we've got the Foxy Flare leggings in onyx black. So nice big flares and a lot. It has the same detailing on the back as the legacy leggings. It's almost like these like three butterflies coming down to, for a nice glute contour. And again, I just wanted these for lifestyle and they look so cute. I've been wearing them a ton, with chunky sneakers out about town and they're just so soft and stretchy and they're great. And again, these come in different lengths. So they've got regular, tall, short. So these are in the short length. Love that they have come out with different length options because we're not all the same height and you don't want them too long and you don't want them way too short. So it's great to have that option. So you're not having to buy leggings and then pay to have them hemmed. All right. Uh, oh. <laughs> I just snagged my socks. So quickly, accessories from Buff Bunny. We've got some scrunch socks. I love Buff Bunny socks. I have a lot of their just athletic socks. And so they came out with a three pack of scrunch socks. So these are the, the top part is ribbed and very thick and plushy and they look great, just scrunched up. And so I got the one three pack was black, white, and gray. And then the other three pack was more like neutrals. There's like a lighter one and almost white cream color. And I got these in small, extra small, small. Now the sizing for their scrunch socks is a little different from their athletic socks. I have a very small foot. I have a size five. Their athletic socks in the extra small, small fit me perfectly. These are a little big. Like when I put them on and they're so stretchy that when I then put shoes on, like the heel is above my heel and sticking out of my shoe a little bit, which I don't love, 
but I love these socks so much that I just, you know, and because they're scrunch socks, you just scrunch them down your ankle and it kind of hides the fact that your socks are too big for you. But I've been wearing these a ton as lifestyle. I have worked out in them a little bit, but I tend to just stick with my athletic socks for working out. And these more for lifestyle, over coming out of boots, over leggings, um, or even over like some tight jeans. I do that too, but they are still fine for working out. I have done it a bit and they look super cute, but I've more been saving these for lifestyle and they're great. Even though the sizing isn't perfect for me, no regrets getting these. Last two Buff Bunny items, very exciting items. We have the Over It Alls. When she first came out with these in the off the grid collection. I wanted them so bad and I was there and I was trying to buy them right at the launch and they sold out so fast. And here we are, like, I don't know, has it been a year, over a year later? She re-released them only this time with different lengths. So maybe better than I waited because I was able to get the short. These are just the cutest overalls. They're a nice stretchy material. They're like straight legged. I wouldn't say they're flared, but they're also not like super tight. So they look cute with sneakers. And then they have the cute belt detail. And I love these. I got these in a size small. I wasn't sure if I'd go small or medium because I tend to wear medium in leggings. But if something's a little bit looser, then I will size down. So size small was perfect for me. I've been wearing these to work. I get tons of compliments. You know, the only annoying thing overall suck when it comes to going to the bathroom. And then there's the added, like having to take the belt or loosen the belt, but it's fine. It's what we do to look cute, right? And it's got the buttons down the side to make it easy to get on and off again. And I love these. I get so many compliments when I wear them. Dog hair sticks to them like crazy. Like, I don't know if you can see all the dog hair and lint on these, but I'm so happy that she brought them back and I was finally able to get them. Last Buff Bunny item is also another very exciting one. We've got the corset bodysuit in onyx black. So yes, we have a bodysuit. She came out with the Ivy. I can't remember, but it was like the shorts onesie bodysuit. Bodysuit is this. I don't fully remember the name. Anyways, there's the Ivy one that I have in black. That's the shorts, but this is like full length and I've been dying for her to come out with a full bodysuit and it happened and it is so cute. I got this in a size medium and it has like this beautiful corset detailing in the stomach area really cinches you in. We've got cup pads and the front is just so it's like simple but beautiful and then the back is like super. It's got the two straps and then there's one across and it's all adjustable so if you have some gaping you can like tighten the strap that goes across and it is awesome. And it's got this like amazing deep plunged V at the back. So you're like showing a lot of back. It's beautiful. And I am obsessed with this. Again, not a hundred percent sure how I'm going to wear it. Like I don't think I'll work out in it, but I think like lifestyle with like a jacket over top. Things going to look real cute. Last two items are from the yoga with Adrian website. If you're into yoga and you do any sort of yoga on YouTube, you are probably familiar with yoga with Adrian. I have been following her for years. I have been doing her 30 days of yoga for years. And I do have a couple other pieces of merch that I bought off of her website years ago. And I was on there again and I saw a couple pieces well, I saw one piece that I was like, ooh, I want that. So I grabbed two pieces. I love big baggy t-shirts and this is like a boxy cropped tee. It's still not super cropped, but it's not like super, super long. Like it doesn't go past your butt, but you know, her saying is find what feels good. And I'm all about tie dye lately. And so I just wanted this tie dye, find what feels good shirt 
for my yoga days or even just lounge around. And I always struggle with European sizes. So this is a size 10. I definitely could have gotten a size eight, but I was more leaning towards, I'd rather it be baggier than tighter than I want it. So I'll know for future that I could probably get an eight, but this is totally fine and super comfy. I've been wearing this a lot for yoga or lighter workout days and I love it. And then this is the piece that made me make the purchase. Again, it's the exact same tie day. And again, it says fine, it feels good, but it's got her dog Benji on it. Benji is in most of her videos. I love Benji. I love Australian cattle dogs. I would love someday to have Australian cattle dog. And we did a DNA test, like the Embark DNA test on Conan. I don't know how accurate those are, but Australian cattle dog was like one of his top two percentages. It was like Beagle and Australian cattle dog. Made me so happy. I'm like, I don't care, this might not actually be true, but it makes, I, I want to believe it is because I love Australian cattle dogs and Conan is my world so that he may have Australian cattle dog and it's quite special. So anyways, it's just Benji doing a downward dog and it says find what feels good. And again, size 10, same blue and pink tie dye, love it. Uh, yoga, I've just been switching between those two lately. So that is everything in this athletic athleisure haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure if you're more into lifestyle, to check out part one and yeah. That's it for now, and I will see you next time.